Now this is Forest Woods. This is a three bedroom, 915 square feet. So four different zonings right here. Beautifully done throughout the spread of the project. What you been doing? What you gonna say? And I, I, Now this is Forest Woods. We are heading up to one of the projects that's within a 500 meters radius from the Serangoon MRT station as well as the next mall. This is a three bedroom that Property Bros is heading up and just for this home tour. And especially if you love to have a project that's just newly reached its TOP date, this is the one for you. Let's go. So why don't we come on in first and then we chat more about Forest Woods. Let's go. Alright great, so Forest Woods is definitely something that a lot of people have been waiting for because just have a look at where we are right now. That is already Serangoon Next Mall. And Serangoon Next Mall by the way is one of the largest mall in Singapore out of the top 13 largest in terms of its size. If you just take about 4 minutes walk, you're going to reach the entrance zone towards the basement level and that will link you straight on to the Serangoon Next Mall as well as Serangoon MRT Station. And all of us know that Serangoon MRT Station is already an intersection line between the North Fist Line and Circle Line. So with the Circle Line, it technically reaches to all the different lines in Singapore. Now, we are right now in a 915 square feet, three bedroom. Let me just give you a little bit of brief backdrop on Forest Wood. Now, when this project was launched initially by CDL, TID as well as Hong Leong, it was almost like 65% sold out during the first day. Now, one of the key reasons is because within a 500 meters radius from Serangoon MRT Station, there has been a shortage of new launches ever since 2003. That was the year that the last project, Sunglade, was being launched. And for the whole 17 years, right until last year, 2020, there was no other new launches that was launched within the 500 meters radius of Serangoon MRT Mall. If we are talking about at least a medium-sized density project with 300 units. So Forest Woods were completed in the year 2020. We are within the 380 meters distance right on from Serangoon MRT Station. Now this also formed a sweet spot with parents because when a lot of parents were hunting for private condo developments that's within a kilometers radius from Paliba Medidis Girls School, for the past 10 odd years, the only choice that they have is the Minton. The Minton is a mega project which is about 1,000 odd units located at Lorong Asu. That's also a pretty close distance from Forest Woods but in terms of the proximity if you are talking about Serangoon MRT station within a 500 meters radius Forest Woods is the latest addition that hits two primary schools that's within a kilometers radius and that includes Paliba Methodist Girls School and we also hit another primary school which is Yangtze Primary School and that is also within a kilometers radius right on from Block 9B in Forest Woods so Forest Woods has seven blocks 512 units are spread over one two three four beders as well as some mega five beder penthouses at the top of the seven blocks itself and if we are talking about the three bedroom population three bedroom has about 130 odd units and then three bed premium has about 50 odd units and in total three bedders form the largest density right here which is fantastic because if you are looking for a minimum three bedroom for a family to own within this walking distance to the MRT station this is definitely one of the great choice having a higher density amount of 512 units that will allow a little bit more transaction volume three to five years time when you want to exit we all know that uh, if you have been watching a lot of our investor series transaction volume is extremely important but if we are talking about the appreciation growth when it comes to healthy transactions that's happening month on month quarter on quarter i think forest Suit is definitely something that a lot of people will want to hunt for 915 square feet this is a three bed model there are only two different types of three bedder one is with the utility room as well as the utility bathroom and uh, the other one is uh, the version that's without the utility room now the key difference is about 120 to 150,000 dollars depending on pricing expectations from different homeowners but technically speaking the size difference is about 60 square feet multiplied by the current per square foot asking price that is ranging about probably 120 or to 150 depending on also different variations but 915 square feet will be the version that belongs to the larger version of the three beta that don't come with the utility room but later we're going to show you where you're going to put your storage space and how you can efficiently use this layout especially if you want to keep your overall or price quantum below the 1.69 million mark. 
this is uh, the entrance foyer. Currently, this property has been completed since 2020. We're still within the defects liability period at the point of this filming. At this portion, you have this wall line here that allows you to create full shoe carpentry work that you can do up to about this level over here. So as we walk towards here, kitchen area is right on at this direction. You have a sliding panel that allows you to close and yet see through towards your dining space. Now interestingly, it is a little bit of a combination like a dry and wet kitchen. So your fridge space is located at the dry kitchen area. You technically don't have like a full-on island, but based on the floor plan configuration, this is the right space for you to put in like a five-seater dining table. And the exact position mimics a little bit like the dry kitchen space and some top storage on top of a fridge space. And as you come in, kitchen is more of like a U-shaped kind of fashion. In terms of size, still looks definitely sufficient. This is the area for a little bit more storage. And of course, your washer comes drier, so it's all nicely planned. This area has no cabinetry because it's reserved for the ventilation window. So Bosch oven as well at the bottom, more storage space. And then of course, sink right here at this corner. And uh, over the years, I mean, CDR all along has always maintained their reputation for quality finishings and works uh, within their developments. And the moment you drive into a forest, we realize that in terms of the facade, it looks fantastic. Although the theme is more of a nature theme, but it also has a little bit of a luxury feel when you come into the entrance zone, where you bypass the security for your drop-off point. And the moment you drive down to the basement parking, you'll find that B1 and B2 is done so well. We're gonna come on to the living room area. Technically speaking, you can do up an entire wall line of a TV console space as well as cabinet trip space right on your living room. Perhaps you can put in close to about $20,000 to add on some carpentry work in the living area. You don't really need to have that utility room if you can invest in some carpentry work right on in the living room area. Size-wise, I think definitely decent. This is the very popular portrait layout that uh, most new launches have nowadays. And of course, we are already hovering at about the right size for newer three-bedroom apartments, which is about 900 odd square feet. In recent years, especially for properties that are being launched in the year 2020, 2021, we're starting to see properties being launched at about the 800 plus square feet range for three-bedders. Right, so monthly MCST is about $341 per month, which is pretty decent. And you get a balcony over here. So the 915 square feet gives you two balcony. One is at your master room area, which is over there. The other one is at the living space. This is towards the southwest direction, but you don't get much of a road noise from here. You're primarily facing towards the HGB estate. For the sake of comparison on looking at how the architect, uh, which is DCA Architects as well as developer, has planned the site plan kind of uh, orientation. We want to see where all the largest units being positioned because the key reason is that developers will tend to put the largest units with some of the best facings. As the larger your unit goes, the higher the quantum, and they want to make sure that even the largest unit has its own audience. So if you want to do invisible grills, that can be done. So for the past 17 years, there has been no new launch that has happened within the 500 meters radius of Serangoon MRT. The very last project was in 2003 when Sun Glade was completed. Now Sun Glade has been performing so well in the past 17 years, even during the 2008 season, I still remember where we were about three years in the real estate, there was a Lehman Brother crisis. In fact, the entire Serangoon, we don't see any price drop as well. And some of the HGB prices even maintained so well in value and appreciated since then. I think the key reason was that during that season, it concurrently hits the phase that the Northeast Line is being announced and Serangoon is being transformed into like a hub and an interchange as well as this mega mall. So the entire zoning right here has then received so much popularity since then. And based on Sun Great's performance, if you were to look at 2003 all the way till date in the past 17 to 18 years, the appreciation in terms of pricing is constant and is strong. And right now, even though that is about 20 odd years uh, kind of development age, it's still performing very well. 400 over units right there on Sun Glade, and then that's the last project that has happened in the last 17, 18 years. And then right now, there's have Forest Wood, and this is definitely receiving a lot of attention from families that want to move towards the Serangoon zoning. Now, the other project, there is this project called the Yardley. That's a 55 units development. Nothing for sale. In fact, it's so hard to find a unit there for sale. The key reason is because it's a freehold project within walking distance to Serango MRT station. So I think a lot of owners are not letting go of their units now. We want to move back towards one MRT line station and that's towards the Coven MRT line, which is also a very popular enclave. But 
Take note that when we look at pricing and when we look at PSF differences, the closer the MRT line gets towards the city center, uh, the higher the per square foot and the overall quantum. And thus, uh, Coven, Serangoon and Woodley will be a very good comparison for us. As we move inwards, you realise that Woodley residences, right now, some of the balanced units over there for three bathers, the lowest that you can get is $1.79 million for 850 square feet, all the way to about two odd million dollars for its compact three bather. It's also receiving a lot of popularity and volume transactions. So demand is still ongoing right there for the integrated development, which is good because when you come back to Forest Woods, you realize that now we're threading at about 1,008 plus per square foot. So in future, when Woolley Residences sees its TOP period, the owners right there currently that they entered at about 1,009 plus to 2,000 odd per square foot, they're going to raise it up to about probably 2,001 to $2,300 per square foot if they want to exit. If not, they will just continue to stay in a place, enjoy the entire integrated development. And that's going to create a new benchmark as well between the one MRT line station. If the owner's there for Park Colonia, Ule residence, are uh, ongoing asking for about $2,000 all the way to $2,300 per square foot. It's going to create perhaps a $200 to $500 per square foot difference from Forest Wood right onto Woodley Residence at Park Colonial. Now let's move back one MRT line towards Coven. Coven has always been doing very well. There are four predominant projects right there. First of all, will be Coven Melody, which was the first project that has popped out. And uh, Coven Melody followed by Coven Residences as well as Coven Regency and Stars at Coven. These are the ongoing per square foot pricing and quantum pricing right there. So if you notice, it's almost very difficult to get something that is 3 beta and that is below a $1.5 million mark. Everybody is asking for above the $1.5 million mark and that has been a new quantum benchmark for Coven region. In fact, for Coven residences, because the unit sizes are a little bit larger, they're all asking around the range of about $1.8 million for some of the current asking price. Stars of Coven, latest uh, project is also ongoing at about 1,007 plus per square foot. Quantum wise, it's close to 1.7 to 1.8 million dollars for its three-bit compact model. So if we were to take that benchmark, move back one station to the Rangoon, which is the interchange and the hub, as well as having a mega mall right at the doorstep. At 1.69 million, I think for a three bedroom in terms of its overall quantum and hitting a sweet spot between two very popular primary school within a kilometers, this is definitely something that a lot of parents will be very happy to own. Brothers and sisters all the one and stand up so tall. So bedroom size currently is fitted with a bunk bed and if you want to put in a queen bed that will be close to around this plug level area and that's of course the reason why sliding panel doors are being installed windows you can open on the left and right hand side ceiling high right here is close to about 2.8 meters all the bedrooms are facing towards the same direction as um, your living room now in terms of flooring materials uh, living room homogeneous tiles bedroom wise these are vinyl flooring and uh, vinyl has always been very long lasting and as we move right across and coming into the common bath so great to see ventilation windows that dispels a lot of moisture out and then if you move in with me standing shower around this direction so durable fittings for the bathroom and uh, you have some bottom storage right here with built-in mirrors and uh, there's a storage behind this mirror as well and then uh, this bedroom is a mirror image of the first common bedroom that you see similarly sliding panel and then you have some storage uh, that pull out at the bottom as well. And currently it's fitted with a single bed. If we need a queen, that'll be about this area. Let's move on to the master. All right, so for the master room currently, queen bed. I think a bonus is having this balcony over here. And I think it's great to have an additional space right here so you can put in like a nice outdoor set. And of course, for the living room, we recommend that you put in an outdoor set as well so that can give you a little bit more sitting zoning. And then our wardrobe space tucked at this corner. Now, of course, this has always been the very popular layout, portrait version, bedrooms tucked on one side. And uh, this has been a layout for the past close to 10 years for a lot of new launches. And I think the key reason is because in terms of space planning, this has uh, proven to be one of the most efficient layout. Ensuite bathroom, slightly bigger than the common bathroom and a standing shower right at the back uh, with a ventilation window as well. You have a slightly larger space in terms of, of its pull out over here. 
and uh, as well as a little bit more storage towards this direction. Okay, so we have to explore the facilities because the amount of facilities here is quite amazing. Close to about 50 odd different functions right here, including the clubhouse that is facing towards the outward part of the project. And that's a three level clubhouse starting from basement one, level one and level two. Level two being the gym that is overlooking towards the outwards direction and basement level being the function room and the gourmet area and then level one being the reading zone. Now the developers have done it in the sense that there is a 150 meters adventure zone right there for kids and that includes things like a flying fox, seesaw. I think the theme is that they want the project to have is nature zoning as well as a relaxing zoning right on at the pool area as well as the spa area and then you also have a place dedicated for your kids to enjoy. So four different zonings right here, nature walk area, relaxing zone area for the adults in terms of its main 50 meters lap pool and then you have the clubhouse zoning so beautifully done throughout the spread of the project. I wanna hang out and crash at your place. Now, we're going to sum it up for three main points to decide whether, hey, is Forest Woods something that uh, my family want to own for, especially if you're looking for a three-bedroom within a D19 zoning. And the first point to sum it up for you is that there are only two projects uh, that you can look at if you're looking for at least a project with 300 units and above a medium-sized density with four facilities, and that's Sunglade TOP 2003 and then Forest Wood, currently TOP in 2020 last year. Now, the second point for you to note is that because the pricing is doing well, you have a host of HDB upgraders not just coming in from the Serangoon HDB apartments, but also from the rest of the D19 zoning, all the way starting from Pongo, Sengkang, Haogang, Coven, and especially if people want to move inwards towards closer to the city portion, they want to come towards Serangoon being the interchange, as well as the fact that it has two schools within its reach of a kilometers range. Now the third point is that there's currently a disparity effect going on between Coven in terms of its three bedroom pricing at the overall quantum, Serangoon three bedroom pricing at the overall quantum as well as Woodley in terms of its overall quantum. So we can see that disparity happening with about 100 odd thousand different range across the different bandwidth. But what is important is that Forest Wood is the latest project to hit its TOP date and uh, it is one of the newest one that you can move in straight on. So if we were to take one 1.69 million dollars compared to some of the project that has already TOP for a couple of years within the Coven and Clave. We know that Coven is definitely supporting the pricing benchmark along these three MRT lines and that at 1.69, you're getting something that's less than one year old since TOP. Definitely, there's a whole lot of value that is plugged in into this current project right now. And once Woodley and Park Colonial hits his TOP and start selling the resale market, that's going to create a whole new benchmark for you to move forward to as well. And last but not least, it's important to buy something with rarity and especially when there are very minimal land plots available and GRS available within the 500 meters radius of Serangoon Central. So this is something that you can own and pivot your family towards. And I think this is something that you and your family can pivot towards while you continue your stay right here in Forestwood. And so if you want to have a look at this place, give a call to our listing managers. The numbers are all right down below. And we're also on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. Thank you for staying throughout the entire home tour with us. My name is Melvin and Prof. Tillin Brothers. As always, happy to show the place. Me time, take care. Okay. So we're gonna walk all the way towards. Oh, okay. Definitely is a, uh, uh, and definitely is a, and I, I, 